Another signal, which is like standard, it's not that much related to the Bollinger Bands indicator, is the uh, simple moving average crossover that you're going to get constantly. Because uh, imagine if you just plot a standard 20 period moving average on the chart. So every crossover of the price with the moving average will give you some kind of a signal. So this acts absolutely the same way with the Bollinger Band. So basically, the Bollinger Bands. Uh, consists of the upper and the lower band and the simple moving average is just an addition to that indicator that is considered part of the Bollinger Band. All right, so these could be bullish crossovers and bearish crossovers depending on which direction the price goes. All right, the other signal that the Bollinger Band indicator can give you is when the price action is overbought or oversold, as I said it like in the previous signals. What does this mean, overbought and oversold? I mean, since we only have like a couple bands and a moving average, how are we identifying overbought and oversold signals? Very easy. This happens when you see the band to get expanded like very, very much. I mean, when the price sharply creates like an, ex uh, when the band sharply creates an expansion, you know, like the two bands start expanding very quickly. In, in the past, you had like a like a squeeze, a narrow band movement, but suddenly they start expanding real quick. And then you should check the direction of the price move, which will uh, eventually uh, give you an like identification if the price action is overbought and oversold. So extremely wide bands with a big bullish candle is giving you an overbought signal. Extremely wide bands with a bearish candle is giving you an oversold signal. Oh,